Hello and welcome to the 79th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at responsive embed. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Okay, so responsive embed. It's basically embedding external objects and web pages uh, into your own web page and it's actually a very powerful feature. For example, many blogs embed YouTube videos. We want these to be responsive if the rest of our website is, which is pretty obvious. Fortunately, like everything else, it's easy to do. So let's open up our index.html in a text data. Show you how easy it is to add a responsive embed. We're just going to add it at the bottom of the container, but as an extra task, add it in the row and the columns to see how it reacts when we size it. So what we're going to do is do a div class embed dash responsive now embed dash responsive dash 16 by 9 this is the ratio of 16 by 9 which is a, a very common ratio that is that's what 1920 by 1080 is that's what 1280 by 720 is and so forth so forth this can be modified and we're going to do that in a moment but let's just finish this and get it working before we modify the ratio and inside what we're going to do is put an iframe and have a class of embed-responsive-item we're going to put a source and the source is going to basically be a YouTube video and we're obviously just going to get that from well, YouTube so if we just go to YouTube and I'm going to type in PS4 now what video should I click on? Try and click on don't really want a gameplay video. Actually, you know what? It's gonna go on a bootstrap video. What is bootstrap? Hopefully we know what bootstrap is by now. And so what we're gonna do is just get the embed code for this. So what we're gonna do is go to share embed. And we're gonna remove the playlist functionality and just get literally this code right here so if we get this go back to our text editor and put in the embed code right here run this in our web browser we scroll down no follow dot actually I know what because I've done four slash four slash it needs to be HTTP colon four slash four slash and now if we run this so you can see that's what it needs to be for obviously something that's on the internet refresh and there we go we have our video and it's been embedded if we click it it plays let's just pause it and resize it and show you what happens now as you can see it resizes very nicely if we go back to our text data the last thing I want to show you is the ratio which was embed dash responsive dash 16 by 9 which is the actual ratio of our video because it is 1920 by 1080 but you can change it to something like 4 by 3 which is which was very common back in the day and now if we run this or refresh our page okay that is not apparent let's try opening it again just in case there's a little issue like that okay let's have a look oh I know what the issue is Put 4x3 instead of 4 by 3 and if we go back refresh and as you can see we have our video and but what you can also see is that the actual embed is almost square which is 4 by 3 and some of the actual thumbnail is cut off but when you play it what happens is you get black bars on the top and the bottom because it's showing all the video but the ratio, let's just pause this otherwise I'm going to start speaking in the video. The, the ratio you've set is different to the ratio of the video, so it's trying to compensate with black bars. It's as simple to use embed responsive in your website. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The next tutorial will cover Wales. All the required source code will be in the description. To see over 850 videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. That's completely free. Get there today and sign up completely free, which allows you to take private notes against any video and view them anywhere in the world. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.